They're playing hard, playing well. It's a good team. You know, ever since that second game of the year when we've been at our place, I think they I don't think they've lost uh, here, if, if I'm correct. I think they're 7-0 since we played them on that second game. So we knew it was going to be a tough game. You know, Perry had a good night. Shoot, I mean, he's a really good player, obviously. That's why he's on draft boards. I, I thought our guys fought in the second half. We missed some layups, some free throws, some wide open threes we needed to knock down, especially without Petty being in there. You know, we had needed to make some plays. I'm mean, proud of the fight. You know, Beetle, I thought, played Super hard, obviously. Kyra had a great game, but just not quite enough to beat a team as talented as Mississippi State uh, in here tonight. Thanks, Coach. Let's go ahead and get some questions. We'll start here on the right. What's the latest on Petty's injury? Yeah, uh, it's an elbow injury that we're getting a test on tomorrow morning, first thing, sort of x ray, MRI, whatever they got to get done. We'll both know more tomorrow afternoon. What was the impact of not having him out there the rest of the game? I mean, Maybe the best shooter in the league, not out there. You know, we struggle. You know, you look at some of the numbers from some of the guys shooting the ball from three. You know, it would be nice if he'd have gotten a few more of those uh, threes up. You know, and, he, and they've got long athletes, and he's our, other than Reese, who's kind of a four or five, Petty's our biggest wing that can shoot. So when they're closing out and running some of our guys off the line, Petty, Petty can still get those shots up. So, you know, I thought our guys maybe drove some times and maybe Petty would have shot it and we just we needed to knock down a few more threes. Other questions? Okay. Oh, you have one? I got you. Um, I know you said that these last five games were really crucial for the tournament. Now that this is a loss, how do you see your team? Look, so told our guys in the locker room, we've got three games ahead of us. We've got to take them one at a time, see what we can do. We'll be playing our best basketball we can possibly be playing, come Nashville and what Everything else take care of itself. I mean, all we can do now is just take one game at a time. And yeah, I mean, if we could have got this, this is our last chance for a quad one win, I believe. You know, with looking at the remainder of the schedule, two home games stuff, we won't be quad one wins. That you know, Missouri would have to make a little bit of a run to. Uh, you know, looking at their schedule, I'm not. You know, they they've got to beat some better teams to move up in the net. So I guess that would have a chance. But yeah, this one's going to hurt. But can't do anything about it. I mean, we've got to control what we can control. We can control our preparation, our effort, our attitude going into the next game, and that's what we got to do right now. All right, Alex. How much did you kind of feel? It seemed like there was a little bit of a, a push soon after Petty left, but then in the last five minutes or so of that first half, really kind of a lull, and, and how much did the team kind of lose without him out there? Yeah, I mean, obviously our rotation got shortened up. We lost our best shooter. The other thing we lost is, uh, I mean, he's, I believe he's still leading the team in rebounding. So, you know, we ended up being even with him on the glass, but he's, he gives us some length at that three spot. You know, we don't, the rest of the game, we really had to play, I mean, essentially Shaq was playing the three other than, you know, when Forbes got in. So we were really downsized. And I thought, that's what I'm saying, I thought our guys really fought in the second half without him. But yeah, we didn't finish the half well. We finished, I believe, you know, from that under four media timeout to the half. They, they won that seven to two. Then I think they scored on their first six possessions of the second half. So we, we just, we didn't do a good enough job defensively. And we've had this issue all year, closing the halves, starting the halves, the middle eight minutes. There's a lot of stuff that costs us this game, but you can look to that middle eight minutes and we need a way better close to the first half. We need a way better start to the second half. We got three more questions. We'll start with Cecil on the right. Yeah, I'm sorry I'm not late. What's the what's the prognosis on that? Uh, you know, we don't know anything. He hasn't gotten any testing done. It's an elbow injury that he's getting whatever MRI, X rays, whatever tests they have to do on it tomorrow morning. We'll know more tomorrow afternoon. Yeah, you mentioned it earlier, but it seemed like it was a pretty scrappy game. A lot of people Guys on the floor fighting for loose balls. What do you think about the effort? But yeah, I mean, you know, I think of the one play where Beetle, I think it was a dude that had the ball and kind of ripped it away from him going to the ground. And, you know, he ended up missing, I think, the layup he got us right after that. But, you know, I remember Beetle diving on the floor for a loose ball. I think Kyra got on the floor. I think Shaq went in and got some tough old boards. I told our guys our effort wasn't. It wasn't bad. It was pretty good, actually. We just we got to step up and make some free throws. We got to make some open shots. We got to make some layups. You know, we got to get stops when we needed it too. So I, I you know, I'm not coming in here questioning their effort. I thought some guys laid it out on the line, especially 
Norman Petty was out. I mean, Be Beatles still get an IV before every game. I mean, that kid's playing his heart out with, you know, health issues, and he's giving us every last ounce of energy he has every game. So, you know, when he came out on fire to start the game, I, you know, I'm really happy with the way he played. And just, you know, you wonder if some guys ran out of legs, maybe free throws, open threes there at the end of the game. We just didn't hit the ones that we usually hit. Yeah, here, uh, can you talk about Kyra's performance in the second half, especially? Yeah, what did he? I don't even remember what he had at the half. What did he have in the second half? He had 13 at the half. So he had 16 in the second half. I mean, you know, 29, 7, and 4, 4, 8 from 3, and 11, and 19 from the field. He's playing his best basketball of his career right now, which we need him to be with, especially without Petty out there. You know, Petty's. Huge part of what we're doing on both both ends of the ball. So we really needed Kyrie to come through. He came through big. It would have been nice if he would have gotten one of those open threes there at the end. That you know, kick out threes. You know, I think maybe he would have knocked it down. He's been at the gym a lot lately, so got to give him a lot of credit. He knows we're making a strong push here at the end to try to do what we can with the season. And he's he's doing everything in his power to make sure he's playing his best basketball. I, I'm really happy for him. Last question, Cecil. So, uh, you still got a sequence with about two minutes left when you're down 73 69. You can get one possession in, four shots. Right. Yeah, there was like two tip ins. Is that the one, the layup and two tip ins? And then another layup? Yeah, I mean, if we could have cut that to two, I believe we missed the front end two more than once somewhere there late in the game, too, if I remember it's correctly. If you've it. Yeah. I, you know, I'm looking up at the score thinking, shoot, if we'd made a layup and some free throws, we might have a lead right now. You know, and it's about two minutes to go. So that's stuff that we, we've got to figure out ways to win close games. And we, we haven't done a great job of that right now. I think some guys are frustrated, but, you know, until they get frustrated enough to get in the gym and change it, they're probably not going to change. So we got to be able to step up to free throw line, make free throws late in games. we got to be able to make layups. And, convert when we need to and and on the other issue was our ball screen coverage they're late was uh, they kept getting the rim on us too so defensively we weren't great late in the game either but yeah I mean I don't have it right in front of me but I, yeah I remember looking at the scoreboard thinking man if we just made some free throws and a couple layups we'd be able to eat right now all right thank you coach all right